In keeping with this site's love of helping out with holiday plans, this is a list on the top 10 most dangerous places in the world. These are all places you might consider not visiting when planning your next holiday. Some of the items may be a little controversial, but you are, of course, free to ignore our advice and go anyway. Number 10 Russia. In this crime-ridden, ex-Soviet state, no longer does the government stuff their Armani suits with rubles, but the vandals and gangsters. The Russian mafia runs amok, there are more gangsters than police, and a Russian is assassinated every 18 minutes, averaging 84 murders per day in a nation of 143 million. The nucleus of Russian crime is stationed in the Republic of Chechnya, a region within Russia just north of Georgia. Prostitution, drug trafficking, and underground restaurants are arbitrarily controlled by the Chechens. Foreigners are kidnapped more frequently due to the higher ransom allocated. Crimes towards include but are not limited to pickpocketing wallets, cell phones, cameras, cash, and physical assaults. From superpower to third world country, think tanks are beginning to speculate if communism really was the cure for Russia. Number 9 Brazil. For anyone traveling to Brazil, it is not a matter of whether you get mugged, it is a matter of when. Grinding poverty still lives alongside incredible wealth in a country that is riding a wave of economic growth. But with prosperity, rates of crime have also soared. Street crime is rampant in parts of Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo, and whilst many victims are left unharmed, having a broken bottle put to your throat for your bracelet is not pleasant. The incidences of quicknappings has risen in major cities. This involves being abducted and taken to an ATM to pay your ransom. If you can't pay, thanks to mobile technology, your family is only a call away. Along with street crime, organized criminal groups have waged wars against police and public institutions that were unable to be bribed. Prison riots are brutally suppressed, drugs and narco-terrorism claim civilian casualties and if you survive all that the piranhas are waiting. Number 8 South Africa. Any nation described as the rape capital of the world should be one to take extra special care in. Although rape had shown a declining trend to 113.7 in 2004, it increased in 2005 to 118.3 per 100,000. Another damning statistic for South Africa is its appallingly high murder rate. The 2010 World Cup host is consistently in the top five list of countries by homicide rate. Most crime is confined to poor areas but it hasn't stopped gated communities springing up all over South Africa and armed guards protecting wealthy tourist groups. Farming in South Africa has become one of the most dangerous professions in the world. The murder rate for farmers is 313 per 100,000 about eight times the national average. And like anywhere, sex can be very dangerous in South Africa, where more than 10 million people are infected with HIV. Number 7 Burundi. This small, densely populated and poor nation has giant problems. A civil war between Hutus and Tutsis tore the nation apart between 1993 and 2006. A ceasefire was declared however most provisions have not been implemented. Mass murder and mayhem compete with environmental problems as the biggest headaches for the people of Burundi. The list of assassinated leaders is extensive, and control of the nation has changed hands numerous times in the last 50 years. Crimes committed by roaming gangs and armed children are risks for visitors. Muggings, carjackings and kidnappings await, so you are advised not to stop the car for souvenirs. Should you be injured or harmed while in Burundi, you may need to be well trained, as local clinics have almost no resources to assist you. Number 6 Antarctica. While murder, rape and robbery may not be a big problem in this part of the world, the hostile conditions are. Antarctica is home to some extreme weather conditions, with the mercury regularly dropping below minus 60 degrees Celsius 100 F, and winds tearing in at more than 100 km per hour. If exposed to this weather for more than an hour, you will most certainly die. Antarctica has no hospitals, no food to forage and if you get lost, not a lot of hope. Stay with the tour groups. At least there is a McDonald's at Scott Base if you manage to find it. Number 5 Afghanistan. This nation has for hundreds of years, been one of the world's most strategically important and lusted after territories. However it remains one of the poorest, undeveloped and unstable. During the Soviet invasion, the Red Army planted more than 12 million landmines in Afghanistan. Hundreds of people are killed, shredded, and maimed each year due to these insidious devices. 
Following the Soviets came the Taliban, whose control meant women were banned from jobs and universities. In 2001, the United States overthrew the Taliban, but banditry, tribal rivalries and drug-related violence has left the nation unstable. Suicide bombings are a constant threat, and nobody in Afghanistan is safe. The most lethal suicide attack occurred in Baglan province in November 2007, killing more than 70 people. Did I mention Afghanistan is also the world's largest supplier of top-grade hashish and opium? Number 4 Somalia Somalia is a failed state known for its anarchy, corruption, lack of government, and starvation. Travelers are warned against entering Somalia, the self-proclaimed independent republic of Somaliland, or even sailing near the Horn of Africa. Pirates patrol these waters armed with AK-47s and will seize craft and hold crews to ransom. Inter-clan fighting has claimed thousands of lives in the north of the country, while territorial control in the capital, Mogadishu is carved up between many clans and warlords. Ethiopia attacked Islamic troops in Somalia in late 2006, resulting in hundreds of casualties and the internal displacement of thousands. Heck, if this place is too much for the Marines, what chance do you stand? Make sure your insurance is fully up to date. Number 3 Sudan Desperation, death and destruction are synonymous with Sudan. Terrorism is a mainstay of this nation, which has been controlled by Islamic military regimes since its independence. Some of the world's most famous killers have earned their stripes in Sudan, finishing with degrees in car bombing, rocket launching and genocide. Violence is rife in the Darfur region between government-backed militias, government troops and local insurgent groups. Sudan has been in open warfare with Chad partly due to the Darfur conflict. Since 2003, 230,000 Sudanese refugees have fled to eastern Chad from Darfur. More than 2 million have died during the two civil wars that spanned the last 50 years. Along with its bleak desert conditions, Sudan is one of the worst places on the planet. Number 2 Colombia. Kidnapping is the main worry in Colombia. There were 2,338 kidnappings in Colombia in 1998. Of the victims, 138 were killed by their captors. Ranked fourth in the world for murders with 69.98, 100,000 in 2006, the popular targets are mayors, with dozens of them being slain each year. And of course, who can forget cocaine? Colombia supplies 75% of the world's supply and thanks to Pablo Escobar and the Cali cartel, paramilitary groups have waged war on the government in a bloody conflict with no end in sight. Even those working in the name of charity are not excluded from the frenzy. In 2005, five Catholic missionaries were murdered, down from nine in 1999. Colombia's beautiful coast and rugged mountains should make it a tourist paradise, instead it is among the most feared destinations you can visit. Number 1 Iraq. It doesn't matter whether you are George Bush, Pele or Chuck Norris, you are not safe in Iraq. Despite its rich history and its oil reserves, it is a ruined nation that is racked with violence, despair and confusion. Since 2003, the United States has occupied Iraq which has led to a civil war claiming the lives of more than 650,000 civilians. Al-Qaeda, Sunni insurgents, Shiite security forces, Kurdish rebels, American soldiers, Turkish troops and criminals are involved in a cycle of violence that unfortunately, will not abate anytime soon. Improvised explosive devices IEDs, explosively formed penetrators EFPs, and mines are a constant threat, as are suicide bombers who have slain hundreds. Kidnappings and random killings are reported with almost mind-numbing frequency. Since 2003, 2 million Iraqis have fled to neighboring countries and another 1.9 million in Iraq remain internally displaced. Depleted uranium used as armor-piercing rounds will poison Iraqi civilians and U.S. servicemen for decades. Truly, a hell on earth. United States of America. For the average traveler, the USA is fairly safe, but the numbers do not lie. There are more than 200 million guns in the USA and more than 50 murders a day, 10 times the rate of Germany. Nearly 5,000 people die a year in truck crashes, about 6,000 pedestrians die on the streets and 31,000 people end their own lives. The USA now leads all nations in violent crime and leads all nations with incarcerations now standing at 2.3 million. American citizens also make up the greatest number of criminals serving time in overseas prisons. 
Militias, hate groups and other right-wing radicals all spread their message of violence and are known to throw around the odd pipe bomb. The government is not much better, spending a whopping $600 billion a year on defense in order to contain the handful of nations hostile to it. Dishonorable mentions, Haiti, Liberia, and Congo.